Hey guys, we are here with uh, legendary grow guru, uh, master cultivator and author, Mr. Ed Rosenthal. How are you, Ed? I'm fine. Just fine? You're here in paradise smoking weed and you're just fine? Not better than fine? Well, let's see. There's coarse, medium grain, fine, ultra fine, and 98% CBD. <laughs> So you're somewhere in the fine realm, yeah. yeah. Maybe extra fine. Yeah, extra fine. Extra fine. All, right. All right. So, uh, you know, we got to do a cool uh, seminar yesterday, the All-Star Growers panel. Uh, I moderated it with you and Danny Danko and Drew West. Uh, have you been on a panel with those guys before or no? Yes, I have. Uh, uh, several occasions. So what's, uh, have you been to the Hawaii Cannabis Expo before? Yes, this is the second year that they've had it, and I've been at both of them now. What is, do you have a, do you enjoy Hawaii? Is this a specific uh, favorite spot of yours, or do you just hit all the cannabis events? Well, uh, I have to tell you the truth. I didn't expect to be here, because uh, Jane and I were, uh, on, thought we were on a flight to Des Moines, Iowa, Okay. And then the doors closed and we were on the runway and they said the plane was going to Hawaii, so we had just we just had to deal with that. I, I see. Yeah. Uh, it was, was a very big disappointment that we weren't able to What did you in miss Des in Des Moines? What did you miss? We were just going there to tour the city. Okay. Yeah. No uh, the cultural highlights. Nothing special, no nephew bar mitzvah, no, 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 we were going to tour the city. It was uh, the local museum and okay. Uh, yeah. okay, so have some beer. Tell us, tell us what you've been up to. Obviously, uh, you wrote the Ask Ed column for so many years in High Times, and then it, uh, with uh, Cannabis Culture, uh, and now with Grow Magazine. I think you said. Yeah, it's in Grow Magazine. Yeah. Well, I had to trade up, you know, because uh, of the uh, relationship that High Times had with the universe. You know, so. Uh, I felt that it's time to uh, hang out with people that you like. And I'm not talking about the High Times employees, but uh, they're uh, the owners of the magazine. Well, we won't get into all that uh, all I'd, that I'd stuff. I'd be happy to. <laughs> uh, yeah, but, but for, you, for this you video, know, probably You know, there are, uh, there are, yeah. Okay, I won't. He's got to take this call, sorry. Okay. Is it the alien overlords? They're uh, no, trying to contact no. you? No. The Briskins. The who? The Briskins. Oh. They're taking over Venus. Sometimes they think aliens have taken over here with the way the politics in the world and the government has been. I feel like it's it's so bizarre that it, it's so surreal that it, it can't it can't possibly just be humans. It has to be some bizarre malefactor involved. I'll tell you the truth: why Trump had to win? Well, you know, during the campaign. People, you know, it was like so weird that people would tune in every day, right? And you got to the point that every day you expected weirdness, right? So think of the depression you would have had had Trump lost and he faded away rather than having the constant, uh, like, the TV daily fix, cereal. The fix. Yeah. yeah, it's like right. a, an addiction. People would have been depressed by now. Yeah. yeah. It's just, what the hell is he going to do next? They need to see. That's that. right. I mean, yeah. it's so weird, right? It's, it's like, like watching a police chase it's like live watching, on the news or something. I think it's like watching a soap opera in real time. Yeah. Yeah. So are you uh, are you pessimistic about the future of legalization in America with Trump's uh, and Sessions in power? Do you, are you optimistic, pessimistic? What's your feeling about it? Well, I don't know why one would be pessimistic. Like, for, it was only 45 years ago when the first initiative uh, occurred in 1972. And uh, the people then said, the slogan was, we want free legal backyard marijuana. And just the, the fact that, you know, 
people don't have that after 45 years of campaigning, why should I be depressed about that? Well, there's some states where people are allowed to grow for themselves. I mean, in some of the legal states. I mean, we, there's definitely been progress made. You would acknowledge that for sure. I mean, right? Well, it's only been 45 years that we've been campaigning for yeah. free legal backyard marijuana. In most places, people still don't have it. So why should I be depressed about that? Well, I, I, you're not saying you've given up, right? I mean, you're still fighting the fight, fighting the good fight, right, in your own way? Well, uh, fighting the fight, I say. Uh, <laughs> shall we define fighting the fight? What are we fighting? It's, it's like fighting a marshmallow. Just educating people and, and trying to, you know, it, think It has to nothing to do with the people. It has to do with the, uh, with the uh, government, not, not what the people want. But the government you has know, begun to let acknowledge me just, the Let me go benefits. into something even more important. Okay. You know, every time that they've been given a chance for the last more than 100 years, people have voted for peace. Like with Wilson, it was, he kept us out of war. And then, you know, people voted for him and they went to war. And then in 64, you know, um, Johnson won by showing this uh, mushroom cloud and this little girl with a smelling a flower and making people afraid that gold water would get us into war, you know? So yeah. then Johnson won and what happened? Okay, and then um, uh, Bush was gonna be the education president, but people still didn't learn, you know? And, um, and then Trump said, I wouldn't have gone to war, and now all he's doing is playing war, war games, yeah, yeah. right? So, the people have consistently voted against war, and war has consistently been delivered to them. But it's not the American people. The people voted against it, yeah. right? So just because people voted for marijuana doesn't mean that they got marijuana. So you basically kind of uh, wring your hands at this point and you say, it's, uh, there's not, we're not going to make much more difference. It's basically what it is. I mean, but you said depressed, and just, just because this has been going on for 45 years and it's a ridiculous thing because the whole argument against marijuana is ridiculous in the same way course. that the argument against global warming is ridiculous. Well, why should I be depressed about that? I, you shouldn't be. I oh, think okay. You be. I, I don't know. Yeah. I'm, I, I like to remain op optimistic myself. I mean, yes, you have to acknowledge the, the challenges, and, and they are great. But uh, I think that the uh, very significant progress has obviously been made over the past 10 years or, or more, and uh, it's going to continue to be made. Oh, I wait think, a second. With wait. or without Trump. Hold it. I'm sorry. I have to interrupt you because there's, I'm getting a signal from the universal okay. people that All right. can't. We have breaking news. Breaking news from the outer rims of the galaxy here. Very serious business here, folks. What's the report from the... They said I should be depressed. Okay. All right, there you have it, folks. Uh, Word from the outer galaxies. It's not uh, the outer galaxy. This was from the inner galaxy. The inner galaxy. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to talk a little about uh, about your books and about uh, where you're going to be uh, the, uh, uh, speaking at or, or appearing at in the near well, future? I'll be appearing with Bill Maher and every one of his uh, events. Okay. Well, that's not really true. Yeah. Okay. So, but I thought that would look good. Maybe he yeah. would consider it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. He once insulted me. Did he? Yeah. Because I said that he should consider what the Palestinian, how the Palestinians felt. And he's very pro-Israel. Yeah. Know, so. He had some not, not, not nice words for me. And oh, that wow. my naivete. Well, this book shows my non-naivete about concentrates. And I think everybody should concentrate. Don't you? Absolutely. So, if you want to go beyond buds, 
this is the way to concentrate. And then this book is the, the Big Book of Bud's Greatest Hits. And we had four Book of Bud's over a period of years. And this book contains only the varieties that are still uh, supported by the uh, seed companies. So every variety in this book can be purchased. And then this book is called Marijuana Garden Saver. And it's a field guide to the problems that you might have in your garden. And it includes insect problems, molds and diseases, as well as nutrient deficiencies. So it's a troubleshooting handbook. Troubleshooting yeah. handbook. Awesome. Guide. See, and look, it has a table. This is the table of contents. You see what your problem is? Yeah. And you identify your problem, and then you go and it tells you how to solve it. Isn't that pretty cool? That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. And then now we're back to Beyond Budget. And this is the book that we just explained, but I'll explain it again because it was in the file. This book shows you how to make concentrates. And we all agreed when we looked at this book previously that people should make concentrates. So if you want to concentrate, I would concentrate on this book. Concentrate on that book. All right. Well, Ed, uh, we appreciate you taking time out of your busy book signing schedule to chat with us. Yes. And uh, we look forward to seeing you again next year, hopefully, at yeah. the Hawaii Cannabis Festival. See the incredible traffic that I'm getting at the table right yeah. now? Could you scan We're around? Beating so them off with a stick. Can see all the, yeah, you better get away. You don't want to block the uh, traffic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's great. Right, That's man. great. Okay. All right. Thank you. <laughs> all right, man. That was fun. Mm -hmm.